Hi folks, and in this video what we're going to do is build a basic AI character. Now, to start off with, we're going to build a new folder and just call it AI. And then we're going to create a folder. So this will be our quest giver, like so. And we then need to build a blueprint for it. Now, our quest giver is actually just going to be a static character, so we don't actually have to make it advanced at this moment in time, and it won't actually be reacting off of any inputs it will quite literally just be almost a placeholder like a piece of clothing or an object so we're going to create this as an actor and then we're going to give it a name of npc quest giver now of course what we might want to do is make this a parent object later on that's completely up to you much in the same way as we created our lovely lovely objects that we picked up we can do very very similar code with this so first thing we're going to do is add a sprite sheet and then we are going to add a single sprite for our character and we're going to do that by clicking base one there and there he is so at this moment in time i have an npc quest giver i can drag them i can drop them i can put them into the game world like so and we will have a character which we can go up to and almost interact with so in this case they have collision around them excellent wonderful now what we want to do is we want to do it so when you go to this character they can then give you a little bit of text saying hello and that's something that we'll do in this next video so at the moment in time we have just our character in fact before we go into that what we'll just do is add a collision zone like so and we'll make this a bit smaller 0.5 just around the character maybe just slightly underneath it and we're going to drag this in begin overlap component like this then cast to main player get player character and for now we're just going to throw in a print statement which says the word hello so when we walk into this box, our character should say hello up in the debug menu. But in a minute, it will then actually get us to do a quest when we build our lovely quest system. 